In the previous episode, Denji got ready to sacrifice himself and jumped into the Eternity Devil's mouth. Now, the Eternity Devil bites Denji's body with his teeth. Everyone gets very scared seeing this, because it seems to them that everything is over and the Eternity Devil has killed Denji. Just then the sound of chainsaws start coming from inside the Eternity Devil, and Denji comes out with his chainsaws. Haimno is shocked to see this, because at this time Denji has become very dangerous and starts attacking the Eternity Devil with his chainsaws. Now, the Eternity Devil also gets angry because of this. He tells Denji that he knew he was alive, and after that, he also starts attacking Denji. Because of this, Denji gets even more angry, and the Eternity Devil also starts attacking in a more dangerous way. He starts telling Denji that this is pointless, because Denji can do anything with him, but he won't be able to find his heart in here, and that's why he cannot kill him. But at this time, Denji has become completely crazy and continues to attack the Eternity Devil. Kobni was not able to tolerate this and Arai was also surprised. Also, Haimno was watching all this in astonishment, but now seeing Denji's condition, power starts to worry about him, because he is losing a lot of blood while fighting with the Eternity Devil. That's why, when he will lost too much, his chainsaws will be retract, because of which, his life will be in danger. Suddenly the Eternity Devil injures Denji's shoulder, and then starts telling him that he is so much weaker now. That's why, he will not be able to do anything to him. Denji was in a lot of pain from his attack, so, he gets even more angry and starts attacking with his chainsaws. Meanwhile, the Eternity Devil catches him from all sides. Now, Denji can no longer do anything to save himself, because he has lost a lot of his blood. And that's why, his chainsaws were not coming out. So, Denji now needs blood. The Eternity Devil starts laughing at Denji and says that he has failed. Suddenly, Denji starts drinking his blood. And because of this, his chainsaws comes out again. Denji tells the Eternity Devil that this blood might seriously taste very bad. But watching him shriek in pain makes it sweet like strawberry jam. Seeing him in such a condition, Haimno starts remembering of her master. He told Haimno that the hunters that devils fear are the ones with a couple of screws looses. Then we see Haimno came to the grave of her dead partner, where her master says that Sahara had his head on straight, so he died. The same goes for Kanauchi, Sabura, and all others, because they were reasonable enough to fear attacks from a devil, and that fear made the devil stronger. Now, Haimno's master tells her that she has been working with Hayakawa for a while now. So, what she thinks about him and if his head on straight. To which Haimno says that she would not say that about anyone who is trying to kill the gun devil. Hearing this, her master asks if she did not join public safety because she was after the gun devil too. So he asks her if she got any screws loose. But she does not give any answer. Her master says that most hunters including you are out to put the gun devil down. They are sincere, honest, and straightforward. And that means the devil knows exactly how to kill them. But there is no telling what a crazy person is thinking. And even devils are afraid of what they don't understand. But even at this time her master was drinking. That's why, Haimno tells him that you are drinking too much again. Then her master says that is being sensible again. But can't be unhinged without loosening the screws a bit every day. He then drinks again. And tells Haimno that if she is still visiting her partner's graves every month. Then hers are still pretty tight. He tells Haimno that Hayakawa is still a punk, so make sure to work him over. To which Haimno says that she will take it one step at a time. But on this her master says that it is not enough, because he is serious about collecting the meat chunks. Therefore, he is gonna actually find the gun devil if he does. After saying this, her master leaves from there. But we see that Haimno is also worried about something, and she doesn't want any of that to happen. So, she meets Hayakawa and asks him if he wants to join the private sector with her because she has received a pretty generous offer. So, instead of chasing the gun devil, they could go out for lunch, see a movie on the way home, and they can really enjoy themselves. But we see that Hayakawa is not ready for this. So, he tells Haimno that if she wants to go out for drinks, he will join her. But he has no intention of ever going private. Now, Haimno gets a little sad after hearing this from him, but she couldn't do anything about it either. So, she asks Hayakawa for a cigarette. Hayakawa then gives her a cigarette. Still, Haimno was worrying about Hayakawa, because if he fights the gun devil, he is going to die. But this is not because they are too weak, or because it is the kind of devil that can kill hundreds of people in seconds. But it's because Hayakawa is cool, serious, kind, and normal like the most. In the present, Denji is still attacking the Eternity Devil. But due to fighting for a long time, he has lost his blood. That's why, he falls on the ground. Seeing this, the Eternity Devil thinks that Denji is dead. 
but Hymno helps him, and he stands up once again. After this, he starts telling the Eternity Devil that he cut him up and he bleed. So, he drank that blood and healed. Now, Denji again starts injuring the Eternity Devil, and starts saying that Nobel Prize is his. Hymno is shocked to see Denji fighting like this, because she has never seen anyone crazier than him. So maybe he can kill the Gun Devil. But even killing the Eternity Devil was not that easy. That's why, Denji has to keep fighting with him continuously. After this we see that no one's condition is good, because they did not face such a situation before. Then Hymno approaches Hayakawa, who has just come to his senses. He asks Hymno how long it has been. Then Hymno tells him that it has been about three days since he got stabbed. She comes to Hayakawa and wants to go out for drinks when it is over. After that, she also falls asleep next to Hayakawa. But Hayakawa is surprised that it is not over yet. On the other hand, Denji has finally found the heart of the Eternity Devil, which is his weakness. Now seeing him in such condition, Denji starts saying that he was still having fun, because it was like being in a pool. He then kills the Eternity Devil by ripping his heart out. Soon after, Denji comes out of the hotel with everyone. But at this time there was no one here and there is silence all around. Then we see that Denji has got a piece of the gun devil's flesh, and he tells everyone about it. Apart from this, Denji was also feeling very good seeing this. Suddenly he faints, but Hymno saves him from falling down just in time. Seeing Denji's condition, Hymno says that it makes sense, because he was fighting the devil the whole time without sleeping. Now, she tells Arai and Kobni to head back to the office and check in. While, she decides to take Denji and Hayakawa to the hospital. But we see that Arai and Kobni were feeling sorry because both of them tried to kill Denji. After a few days, Hayakawa has come to a place to investigate with Haimno. She talks to Hayakawa about having a welcoming party, because the full Division 4 is finally assembled. So, they ought to get to know each other better and deal with some of their outstanding issues. But Hayakawa doesn't understand what issue Haimno is talking about. Then Haimno tells him that Kobni and Arai are talking about quitting public safety. Because, not only are they afraid of the devils, but they feel pretty guilty about trying to kill Denji too. To which, Hayakawa tells Haimno that she tried to kill him also. She then says that she knows, but in over drinks, they will be able to apologize to Denji easily. And also, they will be able to convince them not to quit. That's when, Hayakawa is able to find something from Devil's dead body. He tells Haimno that she is just in this for drinks. He then tells her that he found a chunk of its flesh, but it was not much. He tells Haimno that if they are doing this, it needs to be this week. Hearing this, Haimno starts asking him the reason behind it. Then Hayakawa tells that if they are having a drinking party, he wants to invite Miss Makima also, because she is going on a business trip to Kyoto next week. And with so many devils targeting Denji, she is looking into getting reinforcements. That's why, the party needs to be this week. Just then Haimno tells Hayakawa to be honest with her, and she asks him what he thinks Denji is. Hayakawa is shocked to hear this. After that, Haimno says that the Eternity Devil seemed to know about Denji, and she has never seen anything like what he turned into. But still, the biggest mystery is how much Miss Makima seems to be interested in him. Haimno tells Hayakawa that Miss Makima used to travel all the time. But she is stuck to Tokyo lately, and that is probably because of Denji. So, Haimno wonders if Miss Makima knows his secret. However, Hayakawa doesn't say anything about it. Then Haimno asks if he wants to get her hammered. The next day, all the members of Division 4 party together, where everyone was enjoying beer. Apart from this, many tasty foods were also kept in front of them, which makes Denji and Power very happy. Hayakawa is also enjoying the beer. Just in some time, Kobni also comes here and tells that she got a little lost. Seeing her, a devil hunter calls her. But Miss Makima was not here yet. Just then Haimno tells that she will be late. Today Kobni is also very happy with this party, because she has never had anything this good before. To which, the devil hunter sitting next to her tells her to be sure to eat her fill, because she sends most of her pay home. Just then Power takes the fried chicken plate. Hayakawa asks Fushi if he did not bring his fiend. Then Fushi says that they are a little too scary for a place like this, but he envies how his fiend is. Now, Denji also starts looking at the menu to order the food of his choice. Suddenly he remembers about kissing, so he asks Haimno about it, to which Haimno says that she is too bashful to do it right now. So, let her drink a bit more first, and she will make it a juicy one also. After that, she asks Denji if he will forgive her for trying to kill him. Hearing this, Denji immediately forgives her. The man sitting next to him starts saying that this is a welcoming party for the rookies, so stand up and introduce yourself, in which he has to tell his name, age, and about his devil contract. But Hayakawa forbids Denji from publicly revealing his devil contract. 
because he should not share that with anyone he does not trust. Now, Haimno pulls Denji to her. Another devil hunter starts saying that she wants to know about his hobbies too. Denji tells about himself. He says that he's 16, and his hobbies are eating and sleeping. Everyone is shocked to hear this, because Denji is still very young. Haimno starts asking him if he drank beer. Then Denji tells that he is taking tea. After this, Arai also gives his introduction, and he has got a contract with the fox devil. Denji is a bit surprised to hear this, because that is the same devil as Hayakawa. Then Hayakawa tells that the fox devil is friendly towards humans, so she has got contracts with a lot of hunters. After which, Haimno tells that the fox devil only lets hot ones call on her head. Kobni also introduces herself, but she doesn't reveal her devil contract, as it is a secret. Just then Haimno starts asking Fushi about his rookies, to which Fushi says that it is sad they were killed yesterday. Now, Arai and Kobni get very scared when they come to know about it. Arai starts asking Fushi if the people really die that often. On this, a devil hunter says that public safety handles the devils too tough for the private sector. Then another hunter says that no one who joined up at the same time as her is still alive. Haimno starts saying that Denji is not going to die, because he wants a smooch. Seeing this, a devil hunter starts saying that Haimno gets really friendly when she is drunk. So he is pretty sure that she's kissed everyone here, apart from the rookies. Denji is shocked to hear this from him. That's when, Haimno starts drinking more beer. Because of which, her lips become very juicy. Seeing this, Denji starts saying that today is the day of his first kiss. But now Makima has also come here and she starts asking Denji about it. Then Hayakawa offers Makima a seat. Makima asks Denji if he is kissing someone. Denji doesn't tell her about it. But Haimno tells about it. Still, Denji doesn't want Makima to see him kissing Haimno. But still, he wants a kiss with tongue just as bad. Now, he decides to change the subject. He tells Makima about the piece he got from the gun devil, to which Makima says that she has heard about it, and that is very impressive. But Hayakawa was worried, because they have never seen devils appearing with the gun devil flesh this frequently before, and given how the most recent one was targeting Denji. That's why, Hayakawa thinks that something must be going on. He then asks Makima if she knows what Denji's deal is. But on this Makima says that she will tell him if he can outdrink her. After that, Hayakawa also accepts this challenge. But he couldn't beat Makima in this. Makima also starts praising power. Because there are not a lot of fiends who can control their urge to kill. To which power says that this is because of her advanced IQ. Now, there is talk of IQ level among them. Out of them the IQ level of Fushi is the highest. Suddenly Haimno starts kissing Denji and he starts enjoying it too because this is the first kiss of his life. That's when, Denji realizes that something is wrong, because something was melting in his mouth, and then he finds out it's puke. Because of this, everyone starts laughing at him. But this thing is very traumatic for Denji. Power was laughing a lot on this, and she starts saying that Denji will swallow anything. We then see a flashback, where Denji gets some food from a place, and then he enjoys it with Pachita. Meanwhile, Denji sees some rats there. They are chowing down on some drunk's puke. That's why, he starts laughing at them. Back in the present, Denji's condition is worsened, and he was vomiting continuously. At this time, Arai is with him. He starts saying that he used to look after his mom when she came home drunk from work, and not that it makes him as good a devil hunter as him. So, he is pretty jealous. Hearing this Denji says that his first kiss tasted like barf, and yet he is jealous. After some time, everyone is ready to leave from here. But at this time Makima could not see Denji here, so she starts asking about him. Then Fushi tells that Haimno has picked him up and walked of somewhere. In the next scene, Denji finds himself in a dark place. But Haimno is with him, and this time she kisses Denji again. But she is still not fully conscious, and Denji's condition is also not good. Haimno then starts telling him that she noticed he was head over heels for Makima. But at this moment Denji's head is spinning. Haimno starts telling Denji that he could do better than that bitch. But he and Hayakawa fawning all over Makima. She then lies down next to him. At this time, Denji is completely shocked to see this, and then Haimno asks him if he wants to do it. After this episode ends, watch the video of the left side if you have missed the previous part, and subscribe to Annie Summary for more anime recaps.